So this is going to be the start of my discipline mindset course. The reason to get a discipline mindset is that, first off, discipline is going to make you a way happier person. It's going to, it's, when you're a disciplined person, you're immune to depression. Because you will do the hard thing right now. This version of yourself right now, you will do the hard thing right now. So your future self has no excuse to be unhappy because it's getting all of these benefits and rewards. You're doing you're doing the action of working out right now, so your future self can have big muscles. You're doing the action of eating healthy, so he can feel good. We're doing stuff right now to make our future selves feel better. That is the value of discipline. Discipline is doing the doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. So, yeah, discipline is super important. People who can harness discipline are going to be successful in any of their fields. You know, success and discipline, they basically go together. So, yeah, discipline, very important thing to have for those of you who don't understand it yet. So you need to take action on all of the steps that I give you because no matter how much you know, nothing changes unless you can apply these steps. You get more dopamine, you feel better about learning something than you do from taking the action, taking the actions to apply it, doing the steps. Like if I tell you to go make your bed, are you going to actually do it or are you just going to watch this video and be like, screw you, I don't care. If you actually want to gain value from this course, you have to do what I tell you to do <laughs> and things will change and you'll get a disciplined mindset. If you don't, nothing changes. I know it's a simple thing, but I'm leaving it in here just because. So the first step towards discipline is going to be waking up and going to sleep at the same time. You need to start building consistency in your schedule. You, if you're doing stuff at different times all the time, if you're like maybe waking up for school and then sleeping in on the weekends, it's not going to work, my steps. So you have to wake up at the same time every day. Some of you might already be doing this, I know. But yeah, what I would used to do before I got into this discipline stuff, self-improvement, I would wake up at 6 o'clock every morning Monday through Friday, then Saturday and Sunday, I didn't have my alarm, so I just wake up whenever. You need to build consistency because if you choose to wake up later, maybe say Sunday or Saturday, then you're going to be way less tired, you're going to stay up later, and then come Monday, you're going to be have a hard time getting up. You just need to build consistency in your schedule, and the first step is to wake up at the same time every day. Me personally, I wake up at like 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock, somewhere around there. It's a good place to start. Okay, here, I guess technically that was the first actionable step. But I guess so. second actionable step here is you're going to start making your bed every morning. I think discipline starts with doing the easy things first. It's free money. Just start making your bed every day. It's going to build your discipline. The way we build discipline is like anything in life. You want to get good at soccer, so you have to practice. For To get good at discipline, you have to practice it as well. And that means practicing your discipline. Making your bed every morning requires discipline. You don't always want to do it. And it's very easy to do. It's a good place to start. I would make my bed every, day, every morning. As you can see, my bed's made. So first step in discipline, make your bed every morning. I don't care what... Alex Hormozzi or whatever financial gurus tell you to do, like, that's a waste of time. It's a good place to start. Start making your bed. Easy thing to do if you're low on discipline. Okay, so you're on to the third actionable step. This one is going to be a little harder to do, but what you're going to do is you're going to create a habit tracker, like that one I have right there. Let me actually pull it up. Say for example, we have, you see the habits I have. You're going to make grid squares, you're going to track them. Anybody can do it. Is you get paper, a pencil, and then tape. The purpose of the tape is that you're going to hang it on your wall, so you have to see it every day, and so it reminds you to stay consistent. So. like this
then you're gonna, I don't know, I just label mine a habit tracker. At the top, I just, just thing I do. So, we're gonna start putting in some habits. You wanna start easy, so you can make these changes sustainable, and practice the art of showing up. So making stuff, making these changes sustainable, and start building consistency. I recommend easy habits that you can do. So it depends what what echelon you are on, on your way to a discipline mindset. I'm going to assume you have very low discipline if you're watching this. Not to be rude or anything, but like... So I'm just going to put these habits in order from like when you would do them. So like habits that you do first thing in the morning go on the top. I just like doing them in order. So I don't know. You can put this in whatever order you do them. I'm just going to put first one, work out. I'm pretty sure you most people already do work out. But it's just good to track that. Another habit we could put in, <laughs> meditate. And then you could specify how long you want to do it. Like, if you're starting, I'd say meditate five minutes. Uh, another good one read and then you can specify like I'd say read 20 pages is a good habit start getting into reading okay your next actionable step and this is going along with creating habits and stuff our habit tracker is to read the book James <laughs> not my bad to read the book Atomic Habits by James Clear it's like the Bible of habit creation as everything you need to know about creating habits, breaking bad ones. That's all it is. <laughs> but creating habits and breaking bad ones is a lot complicated than you think. Like there's cues and stuff. It's, it'll just teach you everything you need to know. So actual steps to go read that book. There's a free PDF if you don't want to buy it. That's what I do. I read free, free PDFs. I could probably link it down if I f remember. So, once you've created your habits and you got that habit tracker going, you need to slowly crank up the intensity on your habits. It's like like in the gym, the gym logic. You know, you you have progressive overload in the gym. You keep adding more weight, so you build muscle. Just like you need to do this for your discipline. Once reading 20 pages becomes easy, read 30 or something. Increase it by like 20% each time or something. Keep keep increasing it. Instead of meditating for five minutes, meditate for ten. And work out more, journal more. Just you gotta increase these habits. Once you're able to show up every day and it's easy, make the habits harder to do. Maybe instead of taking a cold shower every day, take an ice bath every day. This is how I go about stuff. I have my habits. Once those habits become easy, we're gonna make them harder and harder. And then one day you're going to be able to do something every day that you thought once thought was like impossible for you to do.